okay uh, welcome back guys so if you watch this previous tutorial for creating this piece uh there was no audio to it so for the texturing process i think i would like to add some audio to it so better so that'll make more sense to just add audio to the texturing process since that one is a bit more fun so i'm going to change the scale so that shouldn't be a big issue change the scale and i make sure by changing the scale on the uv surface i think the mistake i made in the previous tutorial was that on the uv surface uv is supposed to be turned on i was in 3d view instead of uv so i cancel this i already baked this into the mesh on a separate layer so this is the new layer for the scales i turn this off and this is the previous scales okay so i'm going to be in the new scale i'm going to make in map for the new scale also new scales also too uh, before I do that, okay, let's just big that first. Let's big that first. We already have UVs for this, but we don't have UVs for the eye. So let's under geometry. TK should be fine. I can always delete lower for this. Let's go into the eye. Uh, what can we do here? Can we, is there a way to even create normal map for any of this? Uh, mm, do by normals now, nah, not really. Okay. I think what I'm going to do will be turn this off. What I'm going to do will be to you no. Know, draw a max around here like so let's see if this is okay that mark is not visible perfect then we'll turn that into a poly group okay then we can uv master uv master uv master uv master this is uv master Oh, it was staring me at the face. So, polygroup turn on, unwrap. We should be good for that. Did I actually name that? I didn't even name it. So, let's name this to I. Name to fish. I. Alright, so, uh, let's, that should be fine. Let's go back to the body. I'll just go back. Yeah. Already have it is on there already, so we shouldn't have too much problem with this piece. So I believe we can. Let me save this first. Okay, so now let's go to UV map. Put this at 4K resolution. Let's make normal map for this. Create. Oh. Let's put this on the lowest subdivision level. Lower subdivision level is around 10 k Let's go on subdivision level higher. So that should be on like subdivision level two. Let's make the normal map for this. Okay. Oh crap! There's an issue. There's an issue with the normal map. There is an issue with the normal map. I already see it in there now. I see it in there. Let me show you guys if I should clone this. If 
clip V, expose this out. Z map. Fish normal. Okay, let me show you guys. Z brush has a bug when you can sometimes when it tries to bake UVs. It's a really weird bug. So you can see stretching around here. You can see this stretching out unnecessarily. See this weird stretching. I think I fixed this one somehow. I've totally forgotten how I did that. So let's see, let's see if I can make it work again. So auto group with UVs. Auto group with UVs. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, let's go to the IES subdivision level for this. Turn off this scale. Okay, turn off the new scale. Mm, okay, maybe not. Let let me leave it on. Let me leave it on. Let me leave it on. Let us go to the lower subdivision level for this. Forty two should be fine. Subdivision level two should be fine for this. Export this out. Let me check the export settings first. Smooth normal is turned on. Export this out. You just name this to two. Export this out. While I'm here, also let me export the eyeball. Export this out also. Let's go to. Let's come to the mesh. Oh, I didn't even apply. Okay. So if we should import this now, let's import this. You be seeing if we that we are issuing there now for the UV. This is the new one. You can see this weirdness now in the UV. You can see this weird stretch on the UV, which is very weird, extremely weird, extremely weird. This is usually a bug from Zebra. I don't know why it does that sometimes. I don't know. I have no idea why it does that sometimes. Okay, so another thing I like to do is to select this piece, go to the highest subdivision level, then turn off this new scale, turn this scale correct also, <clears throat> turn that off, then go to lowest lowest subdivision level for this. Okay, maybe subdivision level two and export this also. Let me name this to no scale. <clears throat> All right. So let me just import this in here. No scale. I hide this for now. The no scale version. So now it's the scale. That's why you can kind of see some kind of wrinkle around it from the scale. But because this is a low subdivision level, we won't actually see it properly in there. Let's get the fish eye also in here. So what I'm going to <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is that let me hide all of this. The original piece. 
Please do not place with the correct you within here. I'm going to export this out again. Export this out again. Export. Copy these five parts. So you be fish bees. Let me let me just use. <clears throat> let me just name this to. Okay. Name this to new instead. Now come back to ZBrush. What I'm going to do is I want to delete the. I want to delete the UVs that comes with, that comes with this. That's so that's already deformed. So I'll click on delete UVs. Okay. All right. So delete UVs now. Now I'm going to import the new one with UVs in there. New uv fish base and put that on top of it okay so this one has this one has uv's in there now so let's try let's go to the is subdivision level now and bake this let's see if this move if this should if it doesn't work then then we'll just have to export this out and bake in mom set to bag instead okay uh Right, so the layers, let's go to the layers for this. Turn on this new scale. Scales we have in here. Right. <clears throat> let's try and big this one more time. Let's see UV map 4K resolution already. And let's big this out. Oh, I'm supposed to be on lower subdivision level. Let's get this again. Let's hope this does a better job in here for us. If not, we'll be in a moment set to bag. Okay. Well, that really don't say that actually works. That actually works. Okay. So this is it in here. Flip V. Then export. Spot this out. Put this to two. Okay. Let me click save for this file. Uh, let's check. Well, you don't say fantastic that did that correctly. As you can see, you can't find any of those stretching in there anymore. Okay, great. Maybe I should go save this here so to be like a separate tutorial entirely by itself.